What's up JFusion fans and welcome to another review. So as you can see here, I already have in my hand the Zero One Driver. Now I have taken it out of the box. So this is the box right here. Uh, my place is actually a mess right now with all the stuff from this one. But yeah, I've already taken out of this box. So this one actually comes in two parts. So this part right here uh, can be removed. So I, I'm not going to do that so much. So let's see. Mm, yeah, uh, I placed this cover right here. Actually, you start like this and you pull it back, but uh, it's locked in place already. Now this one requires uh, three AAA batteries and I've already uh, put them inside. So. You open this by pressing this tiny button right here. If you have a pin or a toothpick, that will work. So you press it down, uh, and while pressing it down, you actually pull out the cover. So you have the switch uh, right on top of that. So we are going to turn this on. Now, it does have belt parts but we're not going to use them because I'm a fat ass and it won't fit me anyway. So, yeah, we're just going to focus on the belt. Now, for this set, we also have a holder for the ProGrise key. So this is how it looks like, but you actually have two of them. So, there you go. So, uh, this is uh, perfect if you're also planning to buy the Ames shot riser for example so you can also use it with that uh, the package uh, only shows one being used but uh, I do believe you can use both of them so you know what uh, while we're at it so this is how it looks like so it has a clip so you can just slip it on uh, through the top or you can actually use uh, you know, sl slide it through the end of the belt and that's how it looks like so we also have the progress key right here and we, uh, I also have here the rushing cheetah you know what uh, we are going to show this one as well so taking I'm taking out this uh, cover and uh, we're going to test the lights and sounds later yes uh, the progress keys have lights and sounds so this is how it looks like on the holder so i know i'm trying to focus on the belt but anyway uh this is a feature included so why not try this first since while well, we're at it so i'm gonna set this aside and uh, we'll come back to this later now, let's go to the main part of the belt. So, you have your uh, zero one one driver, you have your cover in place already. Now, I am going to turn it on. Zero one yep, it's got great volume, guys. Uh, it sounds nice, and you can hear things clearly. So, what's a zero one driver without the hopper progress key so i've also removed the cover for the battery already so uh i believe uh, it goes like this so. It apparently doesn't work. So, uh, let's see. So the authorized sound comes from this one. So you open it like this. So most of the sounds 
actually come from the progress key and you also have the lights in this one so you know what uh, that's how it works let's see if uh, it has other features we can use so Okay, Grasshopper's ability. So you get a different sound. So the button doesn't work. So in order to uh, take out the progress key, by the way, you slide this back. So there is a scan function. So there's a chip inside this part. And when you, of course, scan it through the belt. So it just makes the same sound. So that's how it sounds. If you don't press the button, that's what happens. Now, let's try another progress key. I apparently uh, pressed the button while doing that, but yeah. So we're going to open this one. Henshin! So that's how it sounds like. So that's the cheetah ability. Let's see. So that's how it sounds like if you don't uh, do the authorized thing. So. I'm going to go with the rising hopper one more time. So, press the button. So again, uh, you have a slot here. Uh, Henshin! So what I'm going to do next is actually uh, do a kind of a form change style transformation like what Aruto does in order to change into, let's say, for example, the Flying Falcon. So I've already set up the Rushing Cheetah progress key, so let's scan this one. Okay, so wait, uh, let me try that one, one more time. So, so I'm going to change. Okay, so I'm gonna do this thing one more time, okay? So let's say uh, transforming to zero one. So So 
form change. So you also hear the authorize and then So it still lights up. So Okay, so I'm gonna do something else here. So I'm going to scan uh, using uh, the rising hopper one more time. So let's see. back into rising hopper so I think there's something you can do here when you uh, set this cover back Let's see, so press... So you have different voices coming out, like you have uh, different expressions coming out every time. You uh, scan it like this. So when you reach terrorize, that's the maximum. Okay. So that's what happens. So, you do have different functions, so... It's rise. It's rise. It's rise might rise. Hero rise. Hero rise or zero rise, I'm not sure. Hmm. Mega, rise. Mega rise. Giga rise. Terra rise. Terra rise. So, that's the maximum... Uh, Ability. So let's see what happens when we do this. So placing the rushing cheetah. Okay, so it just ends in a form change, but. Yeah, so I guess uh, that's it for now. <laughs> so let's uh, uh, take out the rushing cheetah. So thank you. Uh, so again, uh, you can get the rushing cheetah on its own. And I think it will be available uh, soon enough. But for now, the best way to get this one is to actually get the deluxe zero one driver and the uh, progress key holder set and uh, of course there's going to be the ordinary uh, uh, zero one driver set that's going to come out uh, a bit later uh, or a bit soon actually so uh, the aims shot riser is also available right now so if you uh, have an aims riser for example you can also use this definitely so 
Actually, uh, it, this one is also compatible with the aimshot riser. So, yeah, you can do that as well. So, I think I don't have anything else. So, I forgot to show this. So, this is the belt stopper. So, you place it at the back. So, it keeps the belt together. And, yeah, anything else that, that I've forgotten. So, I guess I'm, I might have to... Uh, so this is how you attach the belt anyway. So pressing both buttons so the pegs go down and then attach it like so. I'm not gonna wear this because this is too small. Uh, I know Bandai sells belt extenders so adults can also wear this one but so that's the right side and probably using the belt stopper I'm going to slide it in now we're going to take a look so you have the pegs here and then let's say for example I'm using both so that's that and then the belt stopper you know covering that so this is how it looks like as a complete belt with uh, the progress key holder also in place. So I'm adjusting the belt so it doesn't look so awkward. Okay, maybe it looks like that anyway. My face can fit, but uh, I, uh, I need to be really skinny if I am going to wear it like this anyway. So, yeah, so that is the Kamen Rider 01 Deluxe uh, 01 Driver and Progrise Key Holder Set with Rushing Cheetah Progrise Key. Of course, uh, this is a Deluxe, so this is a very uh, nice belt. Aesthetics-wise, like the black and yellow-green or kind of lime color, and yeah, you also have... Ref a highly reflective me metallic part here. Well, not really metal, but uh, metallic color right there. And the red also has a nice touch. So, yeah. Uh, everything looks nice, actually. Again, you have your... Uh, your progress keys insert in there. Of course, you can... Uh, uh, definitely do this. So, thank you. So, uh, that's it for uh, this review. Uh, I'm going to give this one a good 5 out of 5 stars. Uh, of course, uh, definitely uh, recommended if you want to collect uh, belts. And if you really want to have the first... Common Rider belt of the Reiwa era, then this is the belt for you. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from JE Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!